Yo, what's up guys? And welcome to the first episode of Let's Have a Drink Together. And this is going to be a series where I do uh, ask me kind of questions. So just hashtag your question with ask the OT and you could get it on my video and I will answer it just like you see here. So these are all the questions that I got from last week. So without further ado, let's go ahead and crack this beer open and let the questions roll. So the first question is from at tech smash and the question is when you upgrade into OT5 tech. Now, if you guys don't know what my name means, it actually means occupational therapist for technology, OT for tech has nothing to do with 4k has nothing to do with overtime or anything like that. It's actually my medical profession that I work in and then how I love technology. So will I be upgrading to OT5 tech? No, my name's going to stay OT4 tech and I plan on staying with 4K resolution for a while. Have no interest in getting into 5K or anything like that. So the next question is from at mobile gadget. And the question is, which device are you most looking forward to now that the Note 5 has fizzled? Well, the Note 5, I was really, really, really looking forward to that device until they released it. I love the design of it and I love the specifications of it I just don't like the battery size, but I'm still getting one and I'm still really looking forward to using it, but I am more interested in the Moto X style or the Moto X Pure if you're over here in the US. And I just can't wait to get my hands on that phone. So the next question is from at Thomas V Vil Villages v Vilgas at Thomas Vilgas. And the question is, do you even lift bro? Hit me. Yes. Yes, I do. So the next question is from Mobile Carlos. And the question is, I heard you a rapper. Spit some bars. Well, actually, I have been doing uh, rapping or emceeing or being a lyricist for a long time. I started doing it when I was about 12. I was in uh, junior high. And it was just like a output for, for me. You know, whenever I had like a bad day or whatever was going on in my life, I would direct all of that negative, uh, all my negative feelings into music. And that's how I got into being a lyricist. And if you guys are interested, I'll leave a link to my newest song, which I did a couple months ago. And you can find that link in the description of this video. Go ahead and check it out for yourself. So the next question is from August Vance. And the question is for someone who is wanting to start YouTube, do you have any advice? A beginner camera, editing software, tricks, or tips? Well, if you are just getting into YouTube and you want to do reviews, you don't need the highest end camera. In fact, if you have a good smartphone or just like an iPhone 4 or 4S, you're good to go. If you have the Galaxy S6 or a phone that can shoot 4K, you are actually almost future proof. You can film almost all of your reviews as long as you have good lighting and you just work with that exposure on your phone, you can record some awesome videos. A prime example would be Danny Winget. He recorded almost half of his videos you see on his channel with mobile devices and they are stellar. As far as editing software tips and tricks, just learn the software that you have. You don't need the greatest software out there. You don't need to have Final Cut Pro or Adobe right off the bat. You can simply use iMovie, which comes with all Macs now, master that and then work your way up. Whenever you get an idea, just go for it. Try it. I mean, who the hell cares? Just try it. The worst people can do is leave nasty comments, but honestly, fuck them. The next question comes from at Hey Buddy Raj. The question is, is YouTube your primary job? If not, what's your job? No, YouTube is not my primary job. I don't get paid shit off YouTube. In fact, if I relied solely on my YouTube income, I couldn't support an anorexic goldfish. I mean, that's how much money I make off YouTube. I pretty much just do it as something on the side just because I love technology and I love messing with my camera. So I figure this is more like a hobby for me. For my primary job, I'm actually a director of rehab. I'm an occupational therapist and I work at several different other companies as PRN and that's how I make all my money. And now that my wife has graduated and she's in the same field as me, it is a much easier load off my back to do videos or 
It's much easier to get videos done now because I don't have to work as much. That's what I meant to say. The next question comes from at Matija Mahaj or Matt HD. The question is, why don't people review very low budget smartphones? And I think people do review very low budget smartphones. Like the Moto E was a major hit. There were reviews everywhere. I guess it just depends on what exactly you're looking for. You know, a lot of the phones that you find in the store by uh, a prime example would be like low end Nokia phones or Pantech, I believe. I've seen a lot of them. Um, I just don't think a lot of people are focused on reviewing phones like that because there's not a huge audience for them. I think if there was more of an audience for the lower end, you know, like $50, $60 smartphones, people would review them more. But I'm sure if you do a Google search, you can actually find like a lot of blogs and stuff like that written on these lower end phones. It's just you don't see a lot of videos on them. The next question comes from at cool choppy. The question is, what is your favorite product you have reviewed? Now, I went over this question several times in my head because I really don't have a favorite product that I have reviewed so far. I can tell you my most used product and that would probably be my iPad Air 2. I use it every day and that's how I get a lot of the information um, that I'm reading to you guys. You know, I have my document written up and that's pretty much what I go by and I use my iPad Air 2 for that. Plus when I'm laying in bed and I take my sleeping pill, that's usually what I get on and it gets me in trouble because I order a lot of shit in the middle of the night and I have no idea why I ordered it. And then sometimes I end up returning it. Sometimes I'm like, ah, cool, I ordered it. But that is the most used item I have, which is a bit cliche. But as far as my favorite review I have ever done, it would probably be the original OnePlus One. I had a lot of fun filming that phone. And I did a lot of different videos. And I went to a lot of different places to film those videos, like the cemetery in Savannah. Uh, I did some on the river. I did a lot of videos with that phone and it was just a blast. So the final question comes from at Mr. Hairston, and the question is, how does it feel to have such a supportive wife that helps you with what you do as a tech reviewer? And honestly, it feels really damn good. If I didn't have the support of my wife, we would probably be at each other all the time, especially when it comes to the cost of all these tech items. I mean, she would crawl my ass and I would just, I don't know. I probably wouldn't be able to do what I do for you guys without her support. And it's just awesome to have a wife that supports you not only, you know, uh, physically, emotionally, and spiritually, but she's just always there for me whenever I need her, whether it was through school, whether it was through YouTube with you guys, or whether it's just because I'm having a shitty day. I just, I love the support that she gives me, and without her, you know, I wouldn't be here talking to you guys right now. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, drop me a thumbs up to let me know, hey, I need to make more videos like this. Also, leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought in the section below. Make sure you get all your questions in this week with hashtag AskTheOT, and of course, I'll get to them in the next video. Hope you guys have a great evening or great day wherever you guys are at, and of course, peace.